only slightly put the tail rubbers on because I do want to get rid of them just in case it charges upstream. Someone shooting over there. Um, yeah, so that's where I've just been baiting it. I've literally been piling it in there and piling it in just down there as well. But after seeing the big enough here a few days ago, might be a little bit confident. Who knows? Who knows? But no, it's looking absolutely prime for it. We've got a big old thunder coming in tomorrow though, and I haven't brought my brolly, but we'll see how we go. So although I'm using heavy leads, I am just going to only slightly put the tail rubbers on because I do want to get rid of them just in case it charges upstream and I don't have a clue what could be on the bottom. At least by putting my rods this way it leaves me a little gap if I am lucky enough to hook one and gives me a little area to land it from. But it is a bit tight. I'm going to have to jump down it and slide down on my arse I think. I don't think there's any two ways about it. I think if I went down, if I ran down it, I think I'd get head, end up head first in the river, which I don't have the spare clothes for that, so on the arse it is. <laughs> So I actually started fishing down here when I was a toddler and me and my dad used to come down here non-stop like I, I learned to float fish here, um, caught my first pike here, all manner of things. I even saw my first river carp here, it was down from one of the bridges down there, literally just leaning over looking over it and there's some multi-coloured koi just swam past, it was really lovely. And yeah ever, from, ever since then I've absolutely loved it and I've been carp fishing it for about 10 years or so on and off obviously like I fish all over the place but yeah this this is a special place in my heart down in this little valley like in a proper bit of countryside this is yeah this is fishing to me love it absolutely love it so the reason I picked here and obviously this is quite a long stretch of river it goes goes for about 20 miles or so although there's a weir in between that segregates it there's basically there's one fish in here that I would love to catch I've, I've seen it growing up and I've seen it get bigger, it's now around about £30 or so. A few of my friends have caught it as well. It's always, you know what I mean, make, puts the drive on a bit more, makes you want to catch it. So, yeah, and I've, I've seen it around this area like only a few days ago. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I've chose to fish here, to be fair. Usually, I wouldn't bait and I'd actually stalk it. I'd be walking up and down, but it's quite hard later on in the year as all, all the grasses grow up and all like the wildflowers and stuff like that, the nettles and brambles and everything. 
camping, it gets a bit unaccessible. So yeah, I think the bait and weight approach is probably the better one to do at the moment. Oh, you seen the size of that slug? So it's pretty much time to put the rods in. Although over the last half an hour, I have seen a few bream about. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully it won't be a restless night. What I'm gonna have to do is let the lead drop and then catch it on the drop so it doesn't come too far this way. As I'm using braids, so there's absolutely no stretch. There you go, perfect. That felt rock hard as well. here in the valley it's just all the scenics they're just gorgeous sick <laughs> I do. So I'm just going to stick a fresh hook on. There's that one. Uh, Bird the point over a bit, and I still think there's half a decent chance of another one, to be honest, because it's only ten past five in the morning. That's it. This morning, <laughs> me and Clive were just sat talking about how light it's got all of a sudden. The rod's absolutely churned away. Just done a old tactical slide down the bank to get to the rod in a quick time. But yeah, we managed to land this lovely river carp. It's got some gorgeous pink markings on his belly. Very chuffed with that. Can you see that? So when he was younger, there, that would have been grabbed by a pike. That's still got the jawline. That's crazy. That's what it's missing there. So this is the first one from this morning's action. Came on the margin rod. 
and yeah, just as it was getting light, literally on first light, as, as I mentioned yesterday, I thought I'd get one then. And yeah, after a spirited battle churning me up the river, I finally managed to get it under control and yeah, what a little character as well. Mega one. Lovely. Awesome. Right, let's have another. <laughs> So after that bream, I think it's worth calling it a day. Um, but yeah, now it's been really prolific to be fair. This morning has been mega and can't wait to get back down there and see if we can get after one of the bigger ones. Gonna check me ewes and the sheep in the in the old field. They're doing all right. All lambs are getting ready for table. All the lambs. All the lambs. Right, fish. You can bite now. I had a guy here oh, a little while ago. He was fishing just there, and I said to him, "Do you know it's happened to me about ten or twelve times this week? As people are giving me their money, their rod shot off." Yeah. And he burst out laughing as he handed the money across. And he said, "What's that noise?" Actually, the rod's going, you forgot to put the alarm on. And he laughed, and as he went to pick it up, his other rod went as well. And when I came back, I said, See, I told you. He said, I wouldn't have believed it. Off his rod went again. So that was really good. None of that happens every time. So we just pulled up to the river after spending the day looking at. Um a lake and another bit of river. We're gonna head back down to the spot we were at last night and uh, see what we can get. And then before we left, I put out about a kilo of bait over the spots. So whilst we've been gone looking at other waters today, hopefully a few fish have seen it on their travels. So we just come back down to the river spot, decided to get the brolly up first because it's been hacking it down all day. Um, and I'm just about to get the rods up.
can't beat that. We got the bite a lot earlier than we did yesterday. What a result. Look at him sticking his dorsal apple proud. It's the third bite over this little weekend's river adventure. Wicked start. Very much looking forward to the morning now. Let's go. This is where I shut my fucking mouth and chill out. Fuck yes! Eight years I've been after this one. Oh my god. I'm lost for bloody words, mate. I'm lost for words. I've never seen it on the map, no. I've only ever seen it in the water. So, yeah, nah. Just what I imagined. <laughs> Thank you.